Hey, how you guys doing? It's Tim Michael from TimMichaelArts.com, and before I do anything, I need to apologize. I uploaded a video to my main channel that was supposed to go on my secondary channel, the Tim Michael Arts 2 channel, and if you don't like talking shop and talking about um, just drawings and different artists and things, then you're not going to like that video that I accidentally uploaded on my main channel. It's me driving down the road with my camera set up on my dash, and it's just me ranting about different artists and what we're going to study and things like that. Some people like it, others don't. I actually got a dislike w within just a couple minutes of having it uploaded, so I do apologize for whoever hit that dislike button, but um, I got it deleted, and we'll get things fixed up, and we'll be good to go, but uh, I apologize to you guys, because that was totally attention, um, bad attention to detail. Um, today, though, we're going to be taking a look at how to draw caricatures, and I'm going to start by, as you can see, this wonderful-looking face in front of you here, an old picture that I took of myself a couple years back for a uh, contest. And um, we're going to go ahead and draw over this picture and give you guys an idea of how I would redraw this into a caricature form. All right, and uh, we're just going to take this already very exaggerated looking face and exaggerate it even further, and I'll show you where my brain goes and how you got to train your brain to get to that point, okay? So, um, yeah, like I said, this was taken over a couple years ago, and it was for a um, uh, group that I've been with for a while called the International Society of Caricature Artists, and um, we're just going to start here. First off, I'm going to go ahead and delete my background layer because... That is another picture entirely that I don't even need. There we go. And then also, I'm going to, since you see this, I'm going to go ahead and drop the opacity down on this. And let me just drop in a ba uh, background, so background fill. That way um, we can actually see what I'm doing here. There we go. Alright, so like I said, I'm just going to draw over this and we're going to take a look at how to exaggerate something like this a bit further. Okay? I'm going to start with the nose and I'm going to work my way around the, the nose, the face, and the eyes. Um, but the nose is going to be a big part because I like how pointy it is and how it has this bridge right here. So I want to make sure to exaggerate that. Now, this is not how I usually draw. I'll usually draw on a separate sheet. I'll just look over at this picture and do that. But for sake of just trying to show us how to handle this, what my brain sees of this picture, it's best for me just to draw over this as an example. So I'm going to start following some of the lines here that I'm already seeing, and I'm instantly going to freak you guys out by totally taking the nose out of proportion, okay? So um, let me get my pen a little bigger. There we go. I'm going to start just by really exaggerating on the nose quite a bit, and I'm going to make it nice and sharp, and then come back here. And you'll learn over time, as, as you work with me and as you study for yourself and things like that, that you'll be able to... Um, let me drop down this background layer just a bit more. Um, you're going to learn over time that you're going to be able to do a bunch of this stuff and not freak out about, oh my goodness, will it not look like them? Because, you know, if you follow the main concepts, if you get the features looking correct, even though they're exaggerated, you're good to go. Um, so I'm just looking right now for the basic... Uh, lines and things that I would do. So like this this brow right here, you can see this gentle shading here. That could be a very heavy thing, so maybe I'll do it on both sides. And if I do it there, then I'll probably want to do it on the outside of this right here. So maybe we'll go like this. Kind of just to catch both of those angles. And I could totally get away, and, and this, is, this is just my brain going, okay, what can I get away with? Let's get away with a smaller forehead, okay? And then the hair is going to go here. So I'm going to get away with a much smaller forehead. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this down here like this. So this is going to be like the bag under the eye and then the cheek. And I can totally take the cheek out a lot more. I know it looks really weird, but it'll work in the end. Now this is a very bulbous chin here, so I'm actually going to make it even more so. So let's erase a little bit of this. And about maybe about right here... I'm just going to take this chin out, like that, okay? Don't freak out on me. And it might not look at me like me right away, and since I only have like 15 minutes to do this in, you just got to bear with me. And uh, I'll get it as close as I can, and maybe get closer in the secondary videos. So like I said, I'm just feeling this out. This is where, this is where we sketch. You know, this is just where 
where we get whoops, where we get the idea of what we're doing here. Now, let's just mess around with these lips a bit too. Actually here, hang on. That's what I got so far. Looks a little bit more reasonable when it's not on top of the picture, right? And it still ha kinda has my form maybe a bit fatter, but that's fine. Everything can be adjusted. Now, let's take a better look at these lips. See how these lips kind of curl up? I think it would look kind of cool to actually take these lips even further up than that. Maybe to have them really just go way out and about. Maybe more like that. You see what I'm saying? So kind of like a bow tie around the nose. So I'm showing you where my brain's going here, and we're just going to mess around with it until, until we get what we like. So I'm just going to go ahead and do exactly what I said. I'm going to take my lips like a bow tie around my nose. I don't usually exaggerate this much, but I'm just trying to give you guys the principle. That way you understand what a lot of artists are digging for. Well, let's take a look at it without the background. Look at that. See what I'm saying there? It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay, now this here is kind of leaning back. So I'm going to make it lean back even more. Maybe I'll follow a little bit better with the, the the line of the ear here, so maybe keep it nice and stable there. And then this hair, you see it kind of has this, this um, okay, yeah, you see how it has this swoop all along here? So I'm going to exaggerate on that too, okay? Now let me check something here. So far so good. I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to go way up. And I'm going to come back and kind of swirl like that. Okay? And now, I don't see that over here on this side, but I'm actually going to go ahead and do it over here too. Just like that. This is where your brain just can wander, and you can have a good time with this. And people buy this. This is what's cool. Just take it a little bit further back than I would. And get this neck in here. Now, let me exaggerate the neck. I like looking strong, so I'm going to go ahead and make myself look strong here. I'm a guy. I like making myself look stronger. Alright, so zooming out, let's go ahead and look at that. Still looks like me, just looks a lot more exaggerated. Let's get these eyes in here now. I only have about three four minutes left, so uh, let's go ahead and... I'm going to do it without the background layer now. So just looking about where the eyebrows are going to sit, and where the eye sits. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, and since I know where everything's going to sit now, now I'm going to go ahead and draw it in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and, instead of doing the small eyes, I'm going to go ahead and make them just a bit more dorky. And I kind of have a bit of a f photographic memory, just slightly, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this up here like this, because also his cheeks are full, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of show that a little bit, too. Kind of like that. And then my eyebrow, um, though it may not have done that so much in the main picture, let's see. Nope, never did it in the main picture. Exaggeration's good, so I'm going to go over the eye really deep. And then I'm gonna, it's just called overlap. So I'm just gonna really hit over that. And actually, I want to make myself look a little bit more fierce than that. So I'm gonna take this way up and I'm gonna angle it back down. The higher that you can get this tip here from this tip here, the more fierce it's going to look. See? Now also something I want to capitalize on is this really, um, the really big shoulders here and then also the chest a little bit. So, not looking at this, I just want to go ahead and handle that too. The 
this is just me sketching because of course I would do things a little differently but now also I do want to put a little bit of anger in the face because that face looks more angry a little bit more confused this one more cartoony which I, I personally like this one right now but I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more in the brow here just kind of anger things up a little bit there we go, looks kind of cool. So we're at 10 minutes with this already. That was kind of fast. But the thing is, is the thing that I'm doing here is I'm using my reference photo to draw this. Which is exactly what you do inside your head. The only difference is, is I'm not drawing directly over the photo. I'm just drawing it over here on a separate sheet of paper. That's all I'm doing. And it's no different. You can do this. Just go ahead and try it. Try drawing over one of your pictures and just exaggerating and having some fun with it. That's all you gotta do. And if you do that long enough, you know, don't don't just copy over the picture. Exaggerate it. Try and still make it look like yourself. If you can get it to still look like yourself, you're on the road to the right way. And then stop drawing over the picture and start drawing on a separate piece of paper you'll feel the same feel. Just kind of work your way out, you know? And you can get it. So anyway, that's my little tutorial um, sketching in caricature form. And of course, we'll do a couple more of these sketching poses because that was just way too much fun. And uh, I, I agree that repetition is the best, uh, best bet to learn how to draw. So um, I'll make a couple more of these and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Hit the like button pretty please if you enjoyed this video. And uh, also, please subscribe and... Uh, and uh, leave some comments if you want. Make sure you keep those comments clean, okay? God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video.